75 years after breaking glass ceilings on Capitol Hill. I am honored to speak to you from our brand new press toast lectern. The first two black women journalists to join the White House press corps are getting their recognition. Why honor Alice Dunnigan and Ethel L. Payne in the White House briefing room with that new lectern? We hadn't had a new lectern in the briefing room since 2007. Alice Dunnigan was the first black woman in congressional press galleries and the first black woman White House correspondent to receive a congressional pass. In Washington, D.C., Mrs. Alice Dunnigan is among the bare handful of women who are accredited White House correspondents. In the 50s and 60s, as America grappled with separate but equal treatment in the classroom and on the streets, Dunnigan pressed lawmakers from the White House, making headlines for questioning Eisenhower on civil rights. Her granddaughter, Soroya Dunnigan Brandon, remembers it well. Did you talk with your grandmother about her work as a black journalist? You could sit at my grandmother's feet and listen all day long. She was she was such a great storyteller. She could um, she had a story for everything. She was mistreated, and she wasn't alone. Ethel Payne, remembered by the Washington Press Corps as the first lady of the black press, known for her intrepid reporting in the 50s and 60s. Payne covering the racist treatment of African Americans during the Korean War, also pressing President Eisenhower on civil rights and desegregation. So much so that Eisenhower reportedly hesitated to call on her for the remainder of his presidency. The honor of a podium bestowed by the first black and openly gay White House press secretary. I stand on the shoulders of so many before me, so many before me. Dunnigan and Payne paved the way for the black women White House and political correspondents we've seen today. From Gwen Ifill, April Ryan, Rachel Scott, even our own Yamiche Alcindor and Kristen Welker. We can't brush over the reality that journalists, in particular women of color, have faced unique pushback in the briefing room and beyond. How would you characterize some of those interactions? Is that racism? Is that sexism? I think, look, I think um, that one, it's true. It is true. When you are a first, you experience something a little bit more tougher. And many people don't believe that you belong there, right? That's happened with many other firsts ac across our history where they've had to fight a little bit harder, right? They had to uh, be a little bit better than everyone else in the room. What do you think she would make of the fact that there's so many things honoring her today? I don't know that she would have ever envisioned it, but being that it has, has come to pass, she'd be speechless in a way. But she would give herself that pat on the back and say, you made it, girl. You made it. Today, Alice Dunnigan and Ethel Payne making it all the way to the White House briefing room. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.